Hi everyone. So if you remember, we were reading Ready Freddy Stop That Hamster by Abby Klein. So if you um, remember the story, please make sure that you retell it to someone so that you yourself remember and that um, if someone is listening to this video with you that they are all caught up. You can also read this book when we go back to school um, or sometime on your own. So we've read, so chapter five, they lose the hamster. Chapter six, they find the hamster, but they find him. If you remember, where is the first place that they find him? Go ahead and tell someone around you because it's super funny. And then the second time they find him behind a bookshelf, but the first one is pretty hilarious. So we're going to read uh, chapter seven today. It's called The Morning After. The Morning After. The next morning, Robbie and I were so tired we didn't wake up until we heard my mom calling us from downstairs. Wake up, sleepyheads. Time for breakfast. The first thing I did was roll over and check to see if Harold was still in his cage. There he was, sleeping soundly, as if nothing had ever happened last night. Look at him, curled up in a little ball. Fast asleep, said Robbie. He looks so cute and innocent. Yeah, no one would have any idea that he almost got me in the worst trouble of my life last night. I still can't believe that your mom and dad didn't wake up. I know. They had no idea what went on in this house, and I plan to keep it that way. Good morning, boys, Susie said, smiling as she opened the door and snuck her head in the room. Don't you ever knock? Did you all have a good night's sleep? Ha <laughs> ha, very funny. Now remember, we have a deal. Oh, I remember. I've already figured out what I'm going to buy with my extra allowance this week. I walked over to her, looked her right in the eyes, and poked my finger into her chest. If you say one word about Harold's escape, the deal is off. Got it? Good morning, kids said my dad as he entered the room. Does anybody knock around here anymore? I mumbled to myself. What was that you were saying about Harold, Freddy? Asked my dad. I, uh, I, um, I stammered. Freddy was just telling me he was glad Harold didn't try to escape last night. Right, Freddy? Said Susie, turning to look at me. Yeah, right, I said. Then I turned to her and mouthed. Escape? said my dad. Your mother would have had a heart attack if Harold had escaped. Let's go, my mom yelled. Where is everybody? The food is getting cold. We're coming, I grabbed Harold's cage and we all headed downstairs. What took you so long? Your breakfast is already on the table. Sorry, mom. We're just moving a little slowly this morning. We sat down in our chairs. I put Harold on the floor next to me. Then I rested my head in my hand and kept it from falling on my plate. Look at you, boys. You look exhausted. I wish you had listened to me. I told you Harold would keep you up all night. You have no idea, I muttered under my breath. I tried to change the subject. Thanks, Mom. You made my favorite breakfast. Chocolate chip pancakes. I knew that hamster would make a lot of noise and you boys wouldn't be able to sleep, my mom continued. I wish she would just drop it already. Wow, these pancakes sure look yummy. You should have put him in the kitchen. He would have been perfectly happy in here, and you wouldn't look like zombies. Apparently, she was never going to let it go. Okay, okay, I get the point. Freddy, said my dad, don't be rude to your mother. Sorry, Mom. I'm just really tired, I said with a big yawn. <sighs> Well, tonight, there will be no discussion. Harold is going to sleep in the kitchen. That's not fair, said Susie. Tonight, Harold is supposed to sleep in my room. It's my turn. Just because Freddy stayed awake all night, I shouldn't be punished for it. We'll talk about this later, Susie. Anyway, what was he so busy doing last night, my mom asked. I looked at Robbie. Or I looked at Robbie. Robbie looked at Susie. Susie looked at me. 
Well, as you know, Mrs. Thresher, hamsters are nocturnal animals. Cool, Robbie. Tell her something scientific. Maybe she'll stop asking so many questions. In the dark, it's harder for their predators to find them. That's for sure, I thought. I didn't think we would or ever going to find that little guy. At night, they're very busy hunting for food and getting exercise. Good thing we don't have to hunt for our food, I said, shoving a big piece of pancake into my mouth. Freddy, take smaller bites, please, said my mom. Where are your manners? These are really yummy, I said, with a mouthful of pancake. Freddy, please don't talk with your mouth full. Just because we have an animal in the house doesn't mean you have to act like one. Sorry, Mom. It just said you make the best chocolate chip pancakes in the whole world. Too bad Harold can't have any. I have to say, Freddy, that so far I've been very impressed with the way you've taken care of Harold. You have been very responsible. Susie started to open her mouth, but I shot her a look. Do you think he was being responsible? Susie, were you about to say anything? asked my dad. Yeah, I just wanted to tell you that. I waved my pinky around to remind her of our deal. I just wanted to tell you that today is Saturday, and that's the day Freddy and I get our allowance. Right you are. I'll give it to you right after breakfast. Susie smiled at me. I glared at her. Robbie just looked at his breakfast. I turned to my dad. Since you and mom think I'm going, I'm being so responsible, maybe I can get my own pet. Maybe. What? That's not fair, said Susie. Why does Franny get to have a pet? I've been asking for years and you never let me have one. Never. Hold on there, Susie. Calm down. Nobody said anything about Freddy getting a pet. But you said maybe. That's the same as saying yes. No, said my mom. Maybe is not a yes. Well, it's not a no, Susie shot back. If Freddy gets a pet, then I should get a pet too. Nobody is getting a pet, said my mom. Borrowing one from for the weekend is about all I can handle for now. You should both be happy that mom... Let you bring Harold home for the weekend and enjoy your time with him, said my dad. I got up and went over to my mom. I am happy, mom. Really happy. Thank you so much for letting Harold spend the weekend with me. Shh, I hear something. What's that noise, said my mom. I looked down at Harold's cage. He had his nose pressed against the side. And he was scratching at the plastic. Hey, look, I laughed. Harold is trying to say thank you, too. You're welcome, Harold, said my mom. I'm so glad you're enjoying your stay. Harold wiggled his nose. And we all started to laugh. And that takes us to chapter eight. Please comment down below. And tell me if you would like to hear chapter 